All right, today I'm going to show you how to set up a GCP account to uh, do your own machine learning training. Um, so this is like the third or fourth time I've recorded this video now. Um, it turns out this is not the easiest process, but uh, if you follow along with my directions, I think it'll be pretty straightforward. Um, I did all the hard work for you, um, so we can go ahead and start doing this. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to uh, cloud.google.com. You're going to want to sign in with uh, your account. So I have a special dummy account here that I'm going to sign in with. You want to click the Get Started for Free button. So uh, one of the reasons that why I want to teach with this is uh, GCP, Google Cloud Platform, gives you $300 in credits uh, to do training. So for my StyleGAN class, like that's probably enough to like actually do the entire class. So that means this plus collab means you can basically take the class for free. So uh, this is pretty helpful. Um, I will say GCP is harder to set up than like Paperspace. Um, Paperspace is like sh really straightforward, which is nice. Uh, this is a little bit harder. So, uh, but it's free or so like up to $300 worth of free. So we're going to go ahead and do it this way. Uh, so again, you're going to click get started for free right here. And you're going to agree to the terms of service. Make sure you set your country correctly. Uh, you'll see here you get $300 of credits for free. So I'm going to go ahead and put in my info. So I'm going to put in my address. And I'm also going to put in uh, my credit card number. Um, I'm going to stop my video for a second, come back once I've done this, uh, just for security sake. Um, but you'll go ahead and do this as well. Okay, so I've gone ahead and put in my credit card info and my address. Um, I'm just going to click start my free trial. So again, your free trial includes $300 in credits. <clears throat> um, you do have to spend them in the next 12 months, but if you're a part of my class, that's pretty simple to do. Also, if you're doing anything with StyleGAN, um, this is like probably like a week's worth of credits, so you'll be fine. <clears throat> okay, so there's uh, things we need to do to get started here. So the first thing I want to do is um, I'm actually going to come over to um, the Compute Engine and I'm going to go to VM Instances. So this is now getting set up. So the first thing we want to do is just wait a little bit for this to get set up completely. Um, I'm just going to hang here. I'll probably edit the video just to like cut it out and then I'll show you when it's ready to go. Okay, so uh, this now is finished. Um, the reason I just make us wait for this to be finished is if you go ahead and try to do the other steps and this isn't set up yet, uh, you'll get blocked. So now we're ready for the next steps, which are actually not doing anything at VM instances. Um, come over here to the hamburger menu, click on this, and let's go to I am admin, and let's go to quotas. So uh, at this point, Place, what we need to do is actually upgrade our account. So we have a free trial account, which means um, they're not billing us at all. Uh, in order to use GPUs on GCP, you actually need to upgrade your account so that um, they will give you, they will offer you some GPUs to use. Um, when you upgrade this account, you're not actually going to lose your free credits. You're just going to get, it's basically approving like, yes, it can be billed if I go over $300. So um, just be aware of that, that the credit card you entered will be charged. Um, so go ahead and press upgrade account. Uh, hit upgrade again and now you're successfully upgraded um, I believe you probably just want to refresh the page just to be sure cool and now that message is gone okay so now we need to set some uh, GPU quotas for ourselves so the first thing you want to do is come over to I believe metrics and turn this off to so select none, and then type in GPUs. Um, and the first thing you want to do is actually let's just select all these. Um, you can hit select all. And the next thing we want to do is come over here and just hit location, uh, turn none, and then let's do global, and then let's do we want uh, US West, US West one. So now, oh, it turned off, no, it didn't turn off global. Okay, cool, so um, <clears throat> this is essentially the place where we need to 
um, pick out our GPUs that we want to use. And we basically have to get pre-approved for them, um, and it takes like five minutes. It's like pretty straightforward, but we need to do this. So the thing you want to do is you want to find, um, let's see. So you want to do, so the first thing I want to do is I want to go to global and go to global engine API and click check on this little button here. And then you're going to come up here and you're going to hit edit quotas. And you're probably going to need to put in your phone number and you're need to, going to, you need to hit next and you're going to say new quota limit. So enter a new quota limit. So you're going to set this to two. Um, we're probably only going to use one GPU in this class, but just in case, I'm going to set this to two. Um, the reason is if you really want to train something really quickly, you could assign two GPUs. Um, that's possible. If you if you know what you're doing with GPUs and you want to go ahead and use two, you can. Um, it's a little bit of special stuff in Salgan to actually set this up, but uh, let's just ask for two just in case. And then um, we want to, for the request test description, we just want to say um, training a tensor flow style GAN model. I don't think they actually check this. I think like there's probably just some automated process and they just, honestly, they probably just give it to you. So you just hit done. Um, okay, so now we're gonna hit, uh, I think we're gonna hit X out of this. And then we're gonna come over here and we are going to find um, the compute engine um, P100s. So click on this one. So I'm gonna recommend we use the P100s. If you have, if you know a lot, a lot about GPUs and you wanna go ahead and use the V100 or something else, um, you're more than welcome to. Uh, the reason I like the P100s is that um, they're, they're pretty fast, but they're still fairly affordable. So I think this is a good option. Um, I think we just want this one, but I'm also gonna check for uh, committed P100. So I'm gonna check this as well. And I'm also gonna come up here and I'm gonna hit edit quotas again. Um, so see actually, oh, okay, so we've lost our description, but now we can come in and just hit two for both these. So two, um, two, <clears throat> and two, and then we're just gonna say uh, training uh, TensorFlow style GAN model. Hit done, we're gonna hit submit request. Uh, and it'll tell us when the request has been submitted. Yep, so now it's through. Uh, so what do we need to do now? So now what we wanna do is we're just gonna wait a little bit. So this takes anywhere from five to 10 minutes. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just stop the recording. Uh, when it's back up, I'll refresh the page and I'll show you how to know it's working. Um, you'll probably also get some emails to your e to whatever email address you set up for this, um, which is probably just like a Gmail address or whatever. Um, you'll get some emails that say you submitted a request. I don't even know if it tells you if it's actually approved it, but like you'll find that it gets approved pretty quickly. So. I'm gonna close this, um, I'm gonna stop the video, and when it's done, say five to 10 minutes, I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back now, let's see if this worked. Um, so I wanna just refresh the page. It's probably gonna clear out a bunch of my settings, but let's just see what happens here. <clears throat> okay, so it did actually keep my settings, which is great. So you'll see here, my limit for uh, P100s has been increased to two. And at the bottom here, I should be able to see global. Um, the global compute engines is also at two. So we're all set now to build our first uh, virtual machine. So we're gonna come over here, we're gonna click on the hamburger menu, and then we're gonna click marketplace. And I think we're gonna type in deep learning. Yep, so deep learning VRM or VM. So uh, basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna install sort of like a pre-built machine, similar to how Paperspace works with their ML in a box. Um, we're gonna use the deep learning VM. Uh, so it's just this one, so just click on this. And then you're gonna to wanna to click launch. Cool, so give your um, deployment a name. I'm just gonna name mine style again. <laughs> and then um, it's already preset to a, a couple of things we're gonna use here. So we're, US West one is gonna work. Um, we are going to use the two virtual CPUs, which is 13 gigabytes of memory. And then you're going to pick your GPU. Um, so I'm going to recommend everyone picks the P100. Uh, you'll see that this has an effective hourly rate of uh, $1.11. Um, this is on a monthly basis. We're going to pay by the hour, so it'll probably be a little bit more. Um, but even at that cost, if you do 300 divided by, let's say, 1.25, um, that's 240 hours, so that's 10 days of training time, which should be plenty for what we're needing. Um, so we're gonna do that. 
uh, we're gonna leave it at uh, the one GPU. If you really wanna do two, two GPUs, like you can set it to two, just know that your price basically doubles. Um, so again, it like sort of works out that it's like, you'll train twice as fast, you'll burn through credits twice as fast. It just sort of works that way. Um, it's up to you. I think the one is fine. Um, it also means there's a little less finicky stuff you have to set in uh, the style again when you're running your model, but it doesn't matter either way. I'm just gonna recommend one, it's a little bit easier um, for me to like work with everybody. So if you don't know what you're doing or you don't know what any of this means, just leave it at one and one at, and then P100. Um, you can also pick the V100. Uh, again, it's much faster, um, but the price is one and a half times as much. Um, so again, if you know what you're doing and you really want a V100, go for it. Um, I'm just gonna recommend for most people that this is enough. Uh, next thing is the framework. We wanna pick uh, TensorFlow Enterprise 1.15. Um, StyleGAN 2 does not work with TensorFlow 2. Uh, despite what that sounds like it would work. So we want to do TensorFlow Enterprise 1.15. Uh, we do want to install the GPU driver on first startup. So that's definitely what we want to do. Um, Jupyter Lab. So I'm going to teach using SSH. So I'm going to recommend you don't turn this on. If you are uh, a Python notebook person and really want to use notebooks, um, or sorry, Jupyter notebook person and you really want to use Jupyter, uh, you can go ahead and check this box. Um, I assume you also will know how to convert my commands from SSH to, to notebooks. Um, but that's fine. I'm going to recommend you leave it off. Uh, the last thing we want to do is let's make our boot disk a little bit larger. So let's do 200 gigabytes. Um, I think that's going to change our price a little bit. Uh, eh, didn't look like it really did. Um, I bet if we change it to SSD, it will. Yeah. Um, oh, by like, wait, oh, by like four cents. Um, I think standard per persistent disk is fine. Um, it'll be a little, little bit slower, but not by much. Um, I think at this point we're pretty much ready to go. So the next thing I want to do is at the bottom of this page, you're just going to click I accept the GCP marketplace terms of service. Um, click on here to details. I just want to make sure. Um, yep, we're looking at a price here. So uh, yeah, so I think we're ready to go. Um, oh, you know, one more thing we want to do. Um, I don't know if I can actually change. I think I'm stuck with Debian, which is fine. Um, I'm, I would usually like switch the operating system to Ubuntu, but I think we're fine with this actually. Um, and I don't see a place to change this. Yeah, so let's just use this, um, it'll be fine. Um, so we're gonna accept the GCP terms of service, we're gonna hit deploy. Okay, so now you're in a page that uh, is called the Deployment Manager. Um, this is literally just uh, setting up your machine. So it's just gonna start installing stuff. Um, at this point, we pretty much need to hang out and wait for this to finish. Um, it's not much else we can do. Uh, you'll notice that this is basically, if you've taken my Paperspace class or have used Paperspace before, this is now running. Um, it's basically installing a bunch of software. Uh, we don't wanna hit stop until this is done. Um, and also we'll probably just wanna connect to it once just to sort of make sure if it's running the way we want it to. Um, so we're just going to let this run for a little bit. When it's done, uh, we'll set it up. So see, we have a resource warning here. Um, I ignore it. Uh, so far, I haven't really actually found that it's an issue. Um, so I know some of you're you're new to stuff like this. Seeing a warning is scary, um, but I think we'll be fine. Okay, so it looks like it deployed. Um, again, we do have this warning. I'm not actually really worried about these warnings. Um, looks like there's something deprecated, but it's probably just because it's TensorFlow 1.15. Um, similar issues here. So I think it'll be fine. Uh, let's go ahead and get this started. So we want to come back over to um, our app engine, compute engine. Uh, so come to compute engine and then go to VM instances. And you'll see you've got a drink green little checkbox here. So we want to go in and we want to click on this and you'll see it's already starting. Um, so there's two things we can do here. One is we can just stop it and like we're pretty much set to go here. 
Um, this is all you need to do for the beginning of my class. Um, I will go over some of the other instructions from here later. Um, but we can also just double check and connect with it. So let's just say, um, let's connect. Uh, let's just say open in browser window. Um, so let's uh, open this here. So this is similar to uh, the command line view within um, Paperspace, if you've ever used that before. Cool. So now you'll notice that we are inside this machine. So we just do ls. You'll see nothing's there. Um, so one of the things that we could do is we could just start to like make sure that things work. So one thing that we can do is just type in NVIDIA um, SMI. That's just going to tell us uh, what GPU we're running. So you'll see I have one Tesla P100. Um, it has 16 gigabytes of memory, um, or of, sorry, of virtual GPU. Um, and you'll see that it is running CUDA 10.0, which is fine. That's all we really need. Um, you can also type in NVCC dash dash version. And you'll see that we are running CUDA 10.0. So if you don't know what any of that means, it's fine. Um, we're actually going to use, I'll talk a little bit about this in class. Um, basically, this should just help us know that we've got all the uh, software we need installed. Um, and I bet, mm, and I'm actually, I'll do this later. But so this is everything you need for day one of class. So if you've gotten to this point, um, show up on Sunday and we'll be ready to go. Uh, I'm going to do one more video after this, actually just like continue this video, but I'll, I'll separate, separate it out, which is just to show you how to install a, certain, so a couple pieces of software. Um, so there's a couple of models we can use for style again, a couple of different forks, um, and I'll sort of go over those. So at this point, like if you get this by the time our first class rolls around, you'll be all set to go. I want to make sure that people aren't running into issues here. So if you are running into issues, like email me or Leah, or uh, just like write down the commands you ran into or the issues you ran into, and uh, we'll get set, get you set up on Sunday. Um, all right, cool, thanks. Really, one really, really important thing, which is how to stop your machine. So now that you've deployed your machine, it is on, it is running, you're being charged for it. Um, so we need to stop it. So uh, you're gonna come back to your uh, VM instances. So basically you're probably in uh, a little screen here um, you're probably in this guy. So you're just going to click back to your instances um, and you're going to make sure this is checked here and then you're going to come over here and you're going to press stop um, and it's going to say stop shuts down the instance. If the shutdown doesn't complete within 90 seconds, the instance is forced to halt. This can lead to file system corruption. Are you sure you want to do it? And you're just going to say yes because I'm not running any processes right now. All my processes are stopped. So I'm going to hit stop. And you'll see our guy spinning here. It's clearly taking a little bit of time to stop our machine. refresh the page and see if it's just a GCP issue. And it was. Okay. So when you see stop here, that means the instance is stopped. That means you're off. You're not being charged uh, any hourly rates. So um, your machine is now ready to go. Basically come back uh, on Sunday and I'll start to teach you how to like do stuff with it. Um, okay. Now I'm actually done. Uh, see you next time.